Float like a butterfly and stain like a bee. Oh, rumble, young man, rumble. Oh. Oh, the Magic Man Malinaji, and you're watching me on BlakeWellBoxing.com. I got a lot of respect from you. He's going to get beat May 15th, no doubt about it, but I got a lot of respect from you. This fight is going to be fought in front of a crowd where when a man gets punched in his mouth, they're going to love it. This is Paulie Malinaji versus Amir Khan. On May 15th, I got all the answers. Tommy Hurd sitting in a hitman stand Now it's time to learn about just how quick I am Five broken hands still sick and food Sick and move quicker than lightning When I'm fighting all you bigger dudes With just a flick of my wrist These kids are getting bruised I hit you with my fist so quick I pick and choose where I want to get you I split your tissue above your eye Sing you a lullaby You're seeing some butterflies This is gym music Make the bell ring to it You probably shouldn't even have got in the ring Stupid, this is gonna end just like the press got bout Step to Polly Malinage Probably get knocked out, no doubt I'm about to make a name for myself I got the clout, but now it's time I came for your belt With the help of my jab Sagging out of the air See you at Madison Square and I'll battle you there Motherfucker Bring it to the battle You, you, you suckers want, want to fight Your arms are too short The box are gone Ain't no stopping me my, my, my moves are gone Bring it to the battle You, you, you suckers want, want to fight Magic man, faster hands, and I got the stamina. Man, I flash a blood across the canvas in the camera. King of the jungle, better get ready to rumble. Once I hit him in the head, then I bet he get humble and stumble back. Throw an uppercut, then another jabbing. Motherfuckers don't know what the fuck just happened. Attacking from every angle, I'm very thankful for the speed that God gave me. I break your ankle, see? I never lost to no one that lost to you. I'm a boss, I turn that one loss to two. Two, who the fuck is a mere? Come here and get stolen. I leave your nose looking like. Like so gone, I'm so wrong, fucking up your teeth just like ginger vitus. And IBF stands for I'm Brooklyn's finest Titans mine already. I bet that I'll embarrass you. When I want, I'll come and tell you welcome to America. Bring it to the battle. You, you, you suckers want, want to fight. Your arms are too short. The box are gone. Ain't no stopping me. My, my, my moves are gone. Bring it to the battle. You, you, you suckers want, want, want to fight.
Love and poker. Love and jab and poker. Huh? Ah! Go for the hook. You realize what we're going to do? I'm going to the hook. I'm going to go for 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 the hook. I'm Every, you get like once a week, once every two weeks, you get a nice quote from Freddie. Amir Khan is faster than Manny Pacquiao. Amir Khan is going to stop Paulie Malignaggi in three, four rounds. He knows what he's doing. He wants his name in the press. The guy's an egomaniac. He doesn't want to do what he believs. He knows what he's getting himself into. He knows it's a tough fight. And if he doesn't, when they're scraping his fighter off the canvas next week, he'll know then. Because either way, he's going to find out. The talk I'm hearing from all the other fighters is, who is Amir Khan going to fight next? And they're also jumping on that bandwagon. Oh, who's Amir Khan going to fight next? So I'll tell you what. They're not allowed to call Pauli Malignaggi out now that Pauli Malignaggi goes and beats Amir Khan because they lost that privilege. They could have been saying, I want Khan or Malignaggi after this fight. But no, it's after he's done with Malignaggi, I want Khan, I want Khan. So after I beat the shit out of Amir Khan next week, it's going to be, you want Amir Khan? You can take the rest. Me? I'm going to go look for some money. None of you guys are known if you walk out in the street. Nobody knows who the hell any of you are. I don't care what belt you bring home, okay? I've been in the top 10 junior welterweights in the world since 06. Not counting Ricky Hack, because he hasn't fought in a year. That makes me the longest standing top 10 junior welterweight in the world. Okay, I've been in the, in the rankings at all the top 10 junior welters. I've been in the rankings the longest in the whole world, okay? So that makes me the marquee name with the world title. But they keep calling out Amir Khan, Amir Khan, what's he going to do next? So after I beat Amir Khan, they can go have Amir Khan. Because me, I'm looking for the money. And even if that means going up to 47, I'm looking for the money. So don't count your chickens for eggs, Hatch. Don't think, oh, well, if Malinaji beats Khan, he's just going to fight me. Because now, you might have lost that privilege. Now it's going to come down to the negotiating table, the bargaining table, and we're going to find out where the, where the money's at. And that's how, we go in. That's, how, that's how we're doing it from there. I notice I follow you on Twitter and all the social networks. And every time Khan or Roach has something to say, you come out that day or the following day and you blow off steam at them. How is it that you're staying focused yet, you know, after listening to all this, you know, you're going off on these guys? Because it's easier to do it through Twitter because nothing gets misunderstood. I, I, I notice every time I do interviews with the media, they, they twist quotes, they misquote me, they, they turn it around. So, you know what, I haven't really done a lot of interviews at this training camp with a, mo with a lot of media people uh, because I can just go right through Twitter and answer back myself, you know. And that way, it's a direct quote, it's not misunderstood, it's simple, and I'll go back to training. Do you think that Khan and Roach, this is, you know, this is their strategy to get into your head? Oh man, I'm 29 years old, man. <laughs> I didn't just start this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, th I would think they're a little smarter than that. At least Freddie, I would think, is a little smarter than that. He's been at this a long time. You know, I would think he's a little more intelligent than, than these child games thinking that it's going to get in my head, you know. But, you never know, I'm not in their head, you know, so I don't know. I just, I just know I do what I do and that's it.